Hi guys, my name is Bonis Adlamini uh, from the North Coast Korea. We are here in Guatuguza CBD uh, on King Shaga uh, Street. Uh, so today, residents of Guatuguza have been cleaning up the streets and because this town has one, one of the towns that has been heavily uh, affected by the looting and protesting over a couple of days. So here is one of the residents that we found on the road. Uh, Hello, ma'am. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. Can you give us your name and sign up, please? My name is Deepo Kinkese. Yes. Oh. From Lindalani, what five? Okay. And uh, why are you here today? What made you decide to come and clean the street today? Uh, it's because, uh, as everybody knows, that uh, we're under this disaster. Uh, so we decided as a community of what to do, uh, more especially the community of what five to come and clean our town because we're not happy about what happened uh, uh, in our area. As we're suffering now, all shops are looted, so it's very hard now. We can't do anything, we can't buy bread, even a bread. Uh, so it's a very, very bad situation right now. So that is why we decided to come to town and clean our town so that it will be open. Uh, the, the, the shop owners, they will be able to reinstate the shops so that we will be able to buy our food, all the uh, essential uh, things. Okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Kibbe. Okay. Thank, Thank you very much. Yeah, guys, as you can see, uh, uh, right now they're just taking a break. They're just resting there and uh, we're just going to take you through the, the street just to show you some of the shops that were looted. Obviously, it's not all of them, there's quite a lot of them. And uh, me and James are just going to take a, a walk across the street uh, to show you the shops. But uh, I must mention that also earlier today, today we did see uh, pictures of the uh, uh, Goza Mayor, uh, the Dodi Governor cleaning the streets. And as we were driving in into the town, we did see municipal workers cleaning up the street, and there are municipal trucks there on the other side of the road uh, picking up uh, uh, all the dirt on the street. So it's, it looks like uh, it's been a combined effort from different uh, residents of different uh, communities around what you use One of the jewelry shops here, you can see it's completely white up. Uh, I'll give you a quick look inside. Completely wiped out. You can still hear the alarm ringing in the background. This is American Swiss on King Shaka Street. As you can see here. Display cases absolutely looted and broken. Nothing left. Just for context of where we are, we're walking towards the Karakusa Municipal Court on King Shaka Street. Just giving you a glimpse into what uh, is left uh, in some of these stores in Kwarakuza but also to shine a light on, on communities and residents who are, who are trying their best to clean up and look after their town. There is still glass littering the street but it's a, it's a marked difference from what it was in the past few days. I'm sure, I'm sure many of you would have seen photos and videos of the streets. There really has been a huge difference in a, in a, a big effort really. Let's give you a quick look back down the street just for context and here we're going to walk to a few stores directly opposite the, the municipal court and of course Kwarakusa Town Hall but they weren't spared you can see Pep to our left which was one of the stores that was looted in Tongat and Shaka's Kral as well obviously a popular choice you can see residents with brooms residents doing their best to clean up spades Moving piles of dirt, piles of sand. You can still hear in the background uh, the alarms of, of these shops going off. Here's Total Sports, completely broken. The expander gate, torn off its hinges. We are going to stay behind the police line. You can hear inside Mr. Price, that is the store alarm going off. An alarm going to security that can't really do anything anymore. We're going to just give you one more quick glimpse down the street, showing residents doing their best to clean up. Uh, yeah, guys, so 
that's it for now. What we, we were just showing you, this is not only what happened here in, the, in this town. There's a, quite a lot of shops that were looted, obviously, but uh, we were just showing you just what happened on this part of this of, of the town. So we, we, we are going to be going around taking photos and uh, speaking to other business owners who were affected by this. Thank you very much, guys.